Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got something else I want to share with you, so check this out. This is a 2022 Swart Pylon 401. This is the bike that I learned to ride on, and I also passed my endorsement course on it, and I purchased every aftermarket part I could find available for this bike. Um, it has almost 2,100 miles on it. It is in impeccable condition. As you can see, uh, if you're new to the channel, I have playlists that I've created for all of my builds, this being one of them. You can go back and check out the playlist for this bike. If you're uh, regular to the channel, you'll know that I am very meticulous about my work and maintenance. And I have kept up on the maintenance on this bike and uh, it's been a great little bike. But as always with uh, YouTubers, we like to uh, uh, upgrade things. So that's what's kind of coming up next. I won't share with you what that is. Uh, it's going to be dependent on the sale of uh, this bike and the RC390. And then uh, we're going to create another build series with a uh, different bike. So I'm going to go over as quickly as I can and as much as I can remember all of the modifications that I have done to this bike. Um, I guess we'll start up here. We do have a TomTom Tom navigation mount. Now this can be changed out to any navigation mount that you want to use. I, on, I currently only have one TomTom, um, Tom, but you can get the TomTom Tom units used on eBay for $60 to $100. So if you can get that, this already has the mount for it. It's easy, it just snaps right in. Um, I've got Oxford heated grips and Southwest Motec Cobra hand guards really nice setup really solid um, this is a kind of a something we figured out early on in the channel uh, that this little Amazon fly screen worked on this bike and so I've just kept it there I've used all stainless hardware on it and it's been a awesome little uh, cool looking thing on it uh, all LED turn signals and those LED turn signals use the, the factory KTM LED relay to flash. So the flashing speed is normal. Um, we've got a DNA airbox lid, a k and air filter. Did I say Oxford heated grips already? I think I can't remember. <laughs> but those are on there too. We've got the factory Husqvarna uh, radiator guard on there. We've got every single part that T-Rex makes for a 2019 Swart Pylon. And the reason being I got the 2019 is because it increases your ground clearance. Now, in order to do that, we had to change the exhaust system from the 2022 back to the 2019 setup. And the biggest complaint and the reason they changed it is because people were complaining and whining about how warm their legs got from their exhaust being routed like this. So what I did is I just wrapped it with a quality wrap and it's been fine ever since. It never has bothered me. There's been 100 degree days. It's not really a big deal. But anyway, um, we've got the T-Rex uh, sliders. We've got T-Rex engine and clutch guard. We've got a T-Rex skid plate. And then we've got some um, just generic bobbins on the back for lifting the bike up for service. We also have the diesel uh, pannier racks and tail rack. Really nice setup. Aluminum and stainless, uh, high quality. And I think that's probably everything I can remember from this bike. Now, who's that? What are you doing? Eating brownies? Uh -huh. oh, okay. But uh, yeah, pretty awesome little bike. Like I said, I learned how to ride on it and uh, pass the endorsement course on it. Very fun. This one rips compared to the stock. Um, if you're going to get a Swart Pylon, you're going to buy these parts anyway. There is a Fuel X um, auto tuner on it. I think I forgot to mention that. And of course, we've got the exhaust slider and the uh, fork slider. And we've got a Cooper header that goes into the OEM 
resonator and then out to a works exhaust. Um, those works exhausts are like the most expensive slip-ons you can get and I don't know why, but they just are. Um, yeah, actually, no, there is no Cooper header on this one. This is the factory um, replacement, so um, yeah. But uh, I think that's probably everything I can remember right offhand. I will leave a list in the description of uh, all of the mods if I can remember to. Uh, this bike has a clean and clear title. It's also still under factory warranty uh, for another year. Yeah, because it'd be June. So June of 2024, the warranty would be up. But this has tags good till 26. June of 2026, and it's also coming with a uh, factory oil change kit with four bottles of the Husqvarna oil and the actual KTM slash Husqvarna uh, service kit. So all of that comes with it. All of the OEM parts come with it as well. Um, yeah, my asking price for this bike is $62.50. Um, that's the price you'll pay. There's over $3,000 in modifications done to this bike, so uh, I think it's worth it. If you don't, then this is probably not the bike for you. You can go buy a new one for $6,500 right now at any dealership. They say $5,700 on the website, and then you're going to pay about an extra $1,000 to get it out the door because they charge you up charge you for the freight and assembly and all that stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, 2,100 miles. 6250. Uh, I am in Scappoose, Oregon, one block from Highway 30 for easy access and pickup. If you're interested in purchasing this bike, please check out the description. I will leave an email address. You can shoot me a message and uh, we'll go from there. But I think that's probably going to be it for this episode, guys. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, you're going to want to stay tuned. We've got some upgrades coming. But other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.